Every day, more than 150 million tubes of Pringles are consumed worldwide. Their perfect curved shape, ultra-crispy texture, and that unmistakable powder that gets on your fingers have made them one of the most addictive snacks on the planet. But have you ever wondered how they're actually made? What if I told you that Pringles aren't born from a whole potato but from a secret dough designed to be perfect? Today, we'll travel directly to Tennessee, United States, home to one of the largest Pringles factories in the world, where more than 20 tons of these treats are produced daily, ready to be devoured by millions of people. So get ready, because you're about to discover how one of the most famous chips on the planet is mass-produced. Let's begin. Step 1. The Secret Base It all starts long before a tube of Pringles appears in the supermarket. Every day, huge trucks arrive at the plant loaded with tons of ingredients that will bring these little delights to life. And here's the first big surprise. Unlike regular potato chips, the base of this snack is not a whole potato. Its special formula combines dehydrated potato flakes, cornstarch, wheat flour, and water. This mix ensures the same texture, flavor, and crunch, batch after batch, without depending on the size or irregular shape of a real potato. Once inside the plant, the ingredients are unloaded into gigantic metal silos, and through an intricate system of pipes, they move to industrial mixers. There, colossal paddles turn tirelessly, mixing and blending everything with pinpoint precision. There's no room for error here. A single miscalculated proportion could ruin thousands of tubes in minutes. The result is a uniform, thin, and flexible dough, ready to become millions of delicious Pringles. Step 2. Dough Rolling and Cutting With the base now mixed and uniform, one of the most unique and curious processes in the snack world begins, transforming that dough into the perfect sheets that will bring each chip to life. The tons of mixture fall onto gigantic industrial rollers that flatten it with brutal pressure, turning it into a thin and continuous sheet with an exact thickness of 1.5 millimeters. That number is no accident. It's the perfect measurement that guarantees each chip is ultra crispy but firm enough not to break on the first bite. From there, the dough moves on conveyor belts toward high precision cutters where large oval-shaped metal molds begin to work tirelessly punching the dough like gigantic stamps. Each cutter can produce up to 6,000 chips per minute, all absolutely identical to each other, as if they came out of a snack photocopier. Nothing is wasted here. The leftover dough is automatically collected, returned to the mixer, and sent back to the production line. The result is impressive. An endless conveyor belt of small, raw, and exact oval pieces moving one after another to the next stage. They don't yet have color, flavor, or that iconic curve that makes them unmistakable. For now, they are just the perfect template for what will soon be one of the most addictive snacks on the planet. Step 3. The Perfect Bake This is where Pringles sets itself apart from almost all of its competition. While most potato chips are deep-fried, Pringles go through a unique process. They are both baked and fried in a controlled way to achieve the perfect texture. The raw oval pieces enter a giant industrial oven, where a jet of hot air at over 250 degrees Celsius removes moisture and solidifies the dough. This initial baking doesn't brown them, but it does strengthen them, creating a resistant base that will withstand the next step. Then, the semi-crispy sheets travel directly to a conveyor belt that introduces them into hot oil at a controlled temperature. There, in a matter of seconds, each chip takes on its golden color, develops its characteristic toasted flavor, and, most importantly, acquires that uniform crunch that hooks you from the first bite. The oil is constantly refreshed and filtered to keep it pure, avoiding strange flavors and ensuring that every batch always has the same quality. When they leave the fryer, the chips are lifted on slanted belts that allow excess oil to drain, leaving them dry, firm, and ready to receive the iconic curve that distinguishes them from everything else. Step 4. The Perfect Curve the time has come to give them their most unmistakable signature, the famous Pringles Curve. The thousands of freshly fried chips move on long conveyor belts until they reach special metal molds designed in the exact shape of the famous saddle. While they are still hot and flexible, each chip is gently placed and held in that position by the heat and pressure of each mold. This way, the chips acquire a precisely calculated curve that allows them to stack perfectly inside the tube, 
and at the same time gain extra resistance against bumps and pressures. In fact, thanks to this shape, they can withstand up to 10 times more weight inside the package without breaking. The result is impressive – an endless conveyor belt of golden, perfectly curved chips moving like perfectly aligned soldiers, all identical and with the same perfect curve that has turned Pringles into a global icon. Step 5. The Flavor Touch it's time to transform these simple chips into irresistible Pringles. The thousands of curved chips move on conveyor belts to gigantic rotating drums that act as a kind of seasoning whirlwind. Inside them, a spraying system coats each chip with a fine layer of flavoring powder while the chips gently tumble, ensuring every piece is uniformly covered in flavor. The exact seasoning formula varies depending on the Pringles type, from the classic sour cream and onion or original to explosive versions like hot and spicy or limited editions of pizza, ham, or even shrimp in Asian countries. Each mix is created and calibrated to the millimeter to achieve the perfect balance of salt, acidity, spices, and that addictive powder that stays on your fingers. And this last part is no accident. According to the company's own studies, that powder on your hands is designed to reinforce the consumer experience, enhance flavor memory, and make you want to open another tube immediately, making it practically addictive. Finally, the chips leave the drums golden, crunchy, and with an intense flavor, ready to face the most demanding stage of the entire process. Step 6. Inspection and Quality Control Even though they already look irresistible, before they go out into the world, they must pass one of the strictest filters in the entire food industry – quality control. The chips speed along conveyor belts while an army of high-resolution cameras and optical sensors analyzes each one in detail. The system looks for imperfections invisible to the human eye, such as burnt, broken, irregularly sized chips, or those with less seasoning than desired. If something fails, a blast of compressed air expels it from the line in milliseconds. But it's not all automatic. Specialized technicians take random samples from each batch and subject them to strict sensory tests where they examine their color, thickness, aroma intensity, and even the sound they make when they break. Yes, even the crunch is measured as part of the quality standard. Only the Pringles that pass this examination are approved to move on to the most anticipated moment entering the famous cylindrical tube that makes them recognizable and desired around the globe. Step 7. Packaging and Distribution The thousands of approved chips move on long conveyor belts to an automatic stacking system that arranges them one on top of the other with millimeter precision. The famous curve created earlier allows them to fit together perfectly, forming perfect columns that move along without a single chip breaking. Each stack slides directly into the characteristic cylindrical tube of reinforced cardboard, with its interior lined with a metallic foil that protects the flavor and maintains freshness. Afterward, high-speed machines place the plastic lid and vacuum seal the package to prevent a single bubble of freshness from escaping. But the final detail is still missing. Huge automatic labelers wrap the tubes in their bright colors, which identify each flavor – the green of sour cream, the red of original, the orange of cheddar, or the explosive black of hot and spicy. Finally, the tubes are grouped into packs, packed into large boxes, and stacked on gigantic pallets. From there, huge trucks and containers distribute them to supermarkets, stores, and gas stations all over the planet. And here's the truly staggering part. More than 300 tubes of Pringles are sold somewhere in the world every single second. This figure not only reflects their global success, but also the perfection of an industrial process capable of transforming a simple dough into one of the most iconic and addictive snacks in history. To conclude, tell us, did you imagine this whole process? What's your favorite flavor? Leave your answer in the comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next factory tour.